Good morning, I'm Earth Dr. Reese Halter, and you're listening to EarthCast, SOS.com. This morning, in one of the world's oldest and best-known medical peer-reviewed journals, The Lancet, the following appeared. Human development has depended upon the destruction of the planet's natural environment. Yet, the future for human health depends on the survival of that very same environment. Here's the paradox that faces the Paris climate negotiators. Put simply, planetary health is the health of human civilization and the state of the natural systems on which it depends. Finally, a connect! from the most prestigious medical journal on the globe. What we do to the environment, we do to ourselves. All 196 signatories of the 1992 Rio de Janeiro Treaty are in Paris for the opening climate talks. This is the biggest and most important world meeting in the history of the human race because we need a global agreement to prevent our planet from reaching 2 degrees C above pre-industrial times. Burning, heat-trapping, climate-altering, subsidized fossil fuels is killing Earth's life support systems at the fastest rate ever recorded. Let me remind you of where our beloved planet currently stands. The oceans are acidifying faster now than the previous 300 million years from burning fossil fuels. An acidic ocean melts all shellfish and kills all coral reefs. The climate crisis has significantly disrupted ocean currents carrying nutrients to grow oxygen-bearing, life-sustaining oceanic phytoplankton. As such, we're missing 40% of the oxygen-bearing phytoplankton. That phytoplankton provides humans, irrespective of where you live on the globe, with three out of every four breaths of air. Greenland and Antarctica are losing mega amounts of ice And without a global agreement to phase out fossil fuels by 2050, the oceans could rise by 10 feet. All cities globally along all coasts would be dysfunctional. Mature forests are dying on every continent from heat waves, droughts, and never before witnessed on a regional scale insect infestations. Among many of the benefits of our mature forests are the ability of these exquisite carbon dioxide warehouses to supply fresh water to over three and a half billion people. When we add that to the equation and half the land animals that humans have murdered since 1970 and 9 out of 10 commercial fisheries teetering on death with 70% of all seabirds missing and 90% of most shark species now poached and an ocean stuffed Oceans stuffed full of petroleum-based subsidized plastics with almost 50% of all coral reefs globally, the main nursery for sea life, dead. We have an epic human-created disaster that must be addressed 
now by embracing technology and science and ending $5.6 trillion annually around the globe in fossil fuel subsidies. Instead, those subsidies are of paramount importance to future-proof every town and city on Earth. The dollars will circulate on Main Street, not to the biggest polluters and the culprits of this climate crisis. To all world leaders, do the right thing. Stop subsidizing fossil fuels and start promoting future-proofing of our civilization. We've run out of time. It's the 11th hour and the 59th minute. Hashtag love nature. Hashtag save nature now. Earthcast SOS needs a helping hand. Come on to drreese.com, D-R-R-E-E-S-E.com, and make it happen by clicking on the donate button. Or, better still, pick up a terrific holiday pack, an organic tea from my world tour, an organic tote bag, and a copy of my latest book, Shepherding the Sea. I'll autograph it. All for 49 bucks. Just do it. I'm Earth Doctor Reese Halter, reminding you to protect our planet.